All right, Wilson Wims Elementary, we gladly accept your challenge for the ice bucket challenge. But when we do things at the creek, we have to do things a little bit different. We like to go above and beyond and do it bigger than be better. So when we decided to accept the ice bucket challenge, we said, how can we contribute to the common good and get everybody involved? So this is what we decided to do. We sold raffle tickets for the last three days, and students could bring in a dollar, and they could nominate a teacher or a staff member that they would like to dump the ice water on. And here we are today to do the ice bucket challenge, because we're not just going to do it for the teachers, we had to get the entire Bullfrog family together. So Williams, Wim, William Wims Elementary and everybody else, can I introduce you to our Bullfrog family? Bullfrogs, are you ready for the Ice Bucket Challenge? So the money that we raised, we've raised almost $500 over three days, and we're going to be donating that money to ALS and to the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, and that's going to be in memory of Mr. Jack Edmondson, uh, father of Greg Edmondson, who was our principal here when our school opened. So without further ado, let's dump some ice water on some staff members. Who's up first? Ms. Brown.
right, that's how we do it at Great Seneca Creek. Now we need to challenge a few more schools. So what we're going to do is challenge uh, three of our uh, schools with former Great Seneca Creek administrators. So we're going to challenge uh, Miss Sagona at Laytonsville Elementary. We're going to challenge Miss Jones at Stonegate Elementary. Uh, Miss Alban at Lake Seneca Elementary. And then we're also going to extend a challenge to two of our uh, family members in Roberto Clemente Middle School and Kingsview Middle School. Bullfrogs, did you have fun? Yeah!